Chapter 27, Illuminati Defectum Arian, in March, 2016, on the hinrimacow.com website, it was reported that Hillary Clinton was a Satanist. Mary Ann claims that she was present when Vince Foster was murdered in July, 1993. She claims that Foster was Clinton's former law partner and deputy White House counsel. Mary Ann says that Clinton and Foster were having a screaming match verging on a brawl in his White House office. He had threatened to expose her white water dealings before a Secret Service agent then raised his gun and shot him point blank. The website summarizes two articles from 2008 interviews with Mary Ann, as a reminder that Clinton is a high-ranking member of the Illuminati as well as both a criminal and traitor. She is a Satanist who has probably participated in depraved activities. Apparently Mary Ann had been present in the White House with Janet Reno and Madeleine Albright when they dismembered a male child. He was stabbed in the heart and they watched him bleed to death. The site references Henry Macau Ph.D., and says that the Illuminati sacrifice children in rituals eight times a year. Mary Ann, an Illuminati defector who had been groomed for high political office, told me on 21 September, 2008. He summarizes his interview and gives the YouTube link https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch question mark vehicles 83 uqldozun 8 Much of what she says is simply outrageous. I can't vouch for any of it but it is consistent with the testimonies of other defectors like Svalley. Sue Ford and Kathy O'Brien, the Illuminati count on people to be incredulous, that's their protection, the more egregious their crimes, the safer they are, Mary Ann sounds convincing to me, why would anyone defy the most powerful people in the world, decide for yourself, both interviews, although 14 months apart, are consistent, people who invent stories rarely can keep track of them. The 21st of September, 2008, was the autumnal equinox. Mary Ann said that tens of thousands of children would be sacrificed that night in Illuminati ceremonies. The children are bred for the purpose or are being kidnapped. Satanists believe they gain power from killing. Often they rip out the heart and eat a piece of it. They prefer it to be still beating. At Easter they kill adults. There are also sexual rituals involving young children, they are believed to increase power, and create fear and solidarity in members. Illuminati members live double lives, at night they engage in these satanic rituals, by day they are found in all walks of life, medicine, education, psychology, therapy, banking, law, law enforcement, government, technology, military charities and religion, they are everywhere, there were star in the news on a daily basis posing as leaders, they are the elite of Freemasonry, they are generational Satanists, which means you have to be born into it, you can't join, their children are evaluated and trained, Mormons and the Nation of Islam have parallel beliefs, she said, their world has been divided into ten regions. Different groups are in control of North America, they are related to the crowns of Europe, many Jews have a prominent role but the Illuminati is not predominantly Jewish, Muslim, Christian, Mormon, Wicca, Pagan and New Age groups all play a role 80-90% of the House of Representatives and 100% of the Senate belong to the Illuminati. Mary Ann said she was sexually abused by her own family from an early age. In spite, or because of this, she was groomed to be a prominent political figure. She worked closely with many world leaders and was sexually abused by them. She was tortured when she refused to carry out assassinations. All religions are infiltrated and controlled by the Illuminati. The Vatican is rotten at the top. The future Antichrist will be a Pope. All countries, including Russia, China and Iran, 
are controlled by the Illuminati, you just don't say no, the Illuminati is behind the homosexual agenda, AIDS, and the sexual revolution, they foster anything that is in rebellion against the Christian God, Marianne said that she felt bitterness, resentment and hatred for Janet Reno, she had served as her sex slave and had been abused on many occasions in Reno's office at their White House and at a retreat in a heavily wooded part of Virginia, she called me pet, I was her property at that point in time she said, she was present at the Virginia retreat when a defiant high-level FBI agent had been sacrificed, FBI Director Louis Free, Janet Reno and 40 others participated in the ritual. Marianne had recovered memories of Henry Kissinger who controlled me through most of my childhood. Kids were delivered to the White House. Kissinger was so violent and rough that towels were needed to clean them up. Both Kissinger and Nixon had sexually violated her as a three-year-old in a conference room at the White House. Kissinger engaged in anal and vaginal sex with boys and girls, Nixon only vaginal. I have seen every sexual combination imaginable she said. These activities made Illuminati members blackmail able and enforced group solidarity. As members of the Illuminati order, they felt superior to all and beyond the rule of law. They had a sense of entitlement. They had been selected from an early age and had paid their dues. Mary Ann said John Bennett Ramsey was murdered in 1996, at age six, because she had overheard things that could not be repeated. Her Illuminati father had been loaning her out to his friends. Her mother tried to defend her and had to be sedated. She claims that Queen Elizabeth wanted her to assassinate Princess Diana and that she was horsewhipped for refusing. She claims that both Prince Charles and William were in on it. She describes Queen Elizabeth as the instigator and a foul mouthed piece of work. Mary Ann said that she had been trained as an assassin and had committed two killings. She claims that W's brother, Neil Bush, runs a slavery ring in the United States. Mary Ann was asked to list the activities that the Illuminati are engaged in and she gave the following bestiality, sodomy, necrophilia, incest, wife swapping, child porn, they make it, real source of Hefner, Flint, Polanski fortunes is children not adults, snuff films, sex orgies, forcing kids to have sex with farm animals and family pets, ritual murder and human sacrifice, also organized crime, drugs, prostitution, guns, etc. Eventually Marianne refused to serve and asked to be killed, but they let her go and she found Christ which was a source of strength. Henry Macau's conclusions after two interviews were that he believed that a satanic cult or the Illuminati was controlling the world and that the general public is being initiated into it unwittingly. He thinks that what is called social change and what Obama just called change is social engineering and mind control and what they refer to as progress is progress only if you are a Satanist and believe in the Luciferian dispensation, that is the new world order. He believes that education and the mass media are a big part of this stealth indoctrination which includes music, video games. TV and cinema and that we are being desensitized to corpses and body parts now, he believed that the first responsibility of government is to prevent a fanatical secret cult taking control of society and that the governments have failed.